So we want to take this time out to thank all our sponsors for being with us today. Okay. Yep, we want to thank all our sponsors for being with us today on the Street 919 FM. And um, it's my turn just to take you for the next hour. Right? Um, just take your calls and interact with you for the next hour on the Street 919 FM. So we... Yesterday, we would have spoken about um, the readiness of both political parties for the local government election. I got several phone calls from interested well, people who were very, in, very enlightened by the program yesterday. Very enlightened by it. And I said today I would have played a clip, a video to remind you guys of something that I think you all may, may have forgotten. And I wanted to just play two video clips of some things that I feel that, you know, just need to just remind you all a little bit about. And um, after that, I wanted to go back to the phone calls. Um, some people are asking me what is the solution to the situation that we we um we were talking about yesterday. And I think yesterday people would have given the solution. I don't think it's a big science, a big high science, or a complicated issue that needs to be sat down and have to come up with some big dramatical plan. You know, I think it, it's very simple. It's, um, and you, the callers, have reiterated it on several occasions. What you think should be the resolution to or the answer to the questions or the answer to this, the, the situation that um, the party that you all support and love, or this a party that, you know, the party that you salute and love so much. Um, Okay. Thanks, Mr. Vigo, for letting me know that I wasn't live. I thought I was live on Facebook. All right. Thanks very much for letting me know. So I'm now live on Facebook. And I know that I'm live on YouTube. All right, let me say good afternoon to all the people on YouTube who are joining me and all the people on Facebook that are looking at, well, are coming on. So I'd advise you to come on very quickly because, as I just said, I just have an hour with you guys or less than an hour with you guys. So the faster that you come on, is the better. And remember, this Friday at 12.30 this Friday, 12.30 this Friday. You need to be on the live by 12.30 on the dot. As soon as you get the notification to come on Constructive Talk, I am begging, and I'm well, not begging, but I am asking you to come on because I will have Member of Parliament for Paul Spain South the Honourable Pete Scott, I don't know why I always want to put Minister, but the Honourable um, Mr. Keith Scotland will be with me and he will be addressing the people of Paul has been south. I have some homework to do. And in that home lesson, I will be, I have my home lesson to check out and to do. I wouldn't tell you what is my home lesson. But I have my home lesson to do. And um, again, the door is open. And I'm saying it so that you can talk to your member of parliament. The doors are of Street 919 FM will be open on a Friday from 
for any member of parliament who wish to, well, you remember I finish at 2 o'clock. So from 12.30 to 2 o'clock, I am opening up the doors on my show for any member of parliament. And when I said that yesterday, any member of parliament, I got calls, I got two phone calls actually from members of parliament who are not, who are UNC. <laughs> Which kind of, you know, people want to know, how they, why they got caught? Because there are people who, um, from their constituency who listen. We have Mr. Pinal who does listen. We have Shogun, Mr. Um, Central who does listen. Central has listened to everybody's show on this, on this radio station. Central has listened. Pinal has listened. Yeah, people from every constituency does listen to this to this program. So when the members of parliament from the opposition would have called me to come on the program, they would have gotten a phone call from their constituents telling them, hey, go on Google show X, Y, and Z. So the doors are open for... Should I be specific? Should I say only PNM members of parliament? You think I should say that? If I say that, you think I'll be fair? I'm asking you. Because up to yesterday, I know I got a phone call for a person telling me, don't invite no UNC day, you know. <laughs> so, again, you know, I am... Um, well, I want to thank all the people who would have called me yesterday, who would have texted me, messaged me on Facebook, and stuff like that. I said I wanted to show you a video. Um, when I come back from the break, I'll show you the video. I have two videos I want to show you. So I have to go for a break right now. So when I come back from the break, I have two videos I want to show. And then I'll open up the phone lines. Because I said to you, I would have continued the conversation. But, you know, the statement about... Um, the statement about solutions to this situation. I don't know. I, I think solutions would just make it... Would just kind of draw it down to a, a tick for tat, a different... You know, I ain't going through that. If you want to talk about solutions... The, uh, the, uh, the, the lines will be open for you to talk if you want to talk solution to, to, solu to bring a solution to this situation that you would have heard yesterday of how people felt so I'm going for a break and then I come back I'll take your calls don't touch your dial stay right here on the street 919 FM <laughs>
22 <laughs> defend free culture thank god i'm free again oh. the 24 we come in to play oh. song for you know is the place so oh. chance tell me where you drink in, oh. we drink in, oh. it's all about chance february 24th make sure i be yeah, because they don't know it's a soca, a shell down, a fear. Yeah, man, pretty sick. Season 22, Defend We Culture at Sound Forge. We spirit was on! Shop at New City Malls and check out our premium selection of high-quality clothing and accessories for men and women. Save on all items with competitive prices and courteous service throughout the entire mall. New City Mall is located in the heart of Port of Spain with entrances at 3 Charlotte Street and number 41 Independence Square. We offer a variety of shirts, long and short sleeve, round and v-neck tops, vests, caps, hats, sunglasses, briefs, boxes, shorts, swim trunks, denim, jeans, long and three quarters, socks, sneakers, casual and athletic, shoes, dressy and fashionable, dresses, formal and casual, skirts, lingerie, undergarments and a wide range of accessories. Come check us out as we also have clothing and accessories like Levi's, Clarks, Armani Exchange, Hollister, American Eagle, Ralph Lauren, Nike Air Force and Air Max, Puma, Adidas, Timberland, Academics, Aeropostal, Old Navy, Forever 21, Haynes, Dockers, Guess, Converse and so much more. We have barbers, hairstylists, as well as weave and wigs on sale. All at New City Mall. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Sale, sale, sale. There's a new taste in town. Maracas Bake and Shark at 79 Robert Street in Woodbrook brings you Bake and Shark, Kingfish, Fries, Shrimp, Alu Pies, and delectable sauces to tease your taste buds. Walk in, order with food drop, or get parking lot pickup at 488 Bake or 75 Shark. Need catering? No problem. Call or email tastemaracas at gmail.com. Follow Taste Maracas on social media for all the delicious details. Taste Maracas, the new taste in town. Corner of Roberts and Rosalino Street. See you soon. Every Friday, it's all about Fireboot Soccer Fridays with MC Buchan Selector Kochi from 6 straight to 9 p.m. Blazing all the latest and past soccer hits. So remember, make it a line, make it a day, rock and come, you know. It's all about Fireboot Soccer Fridays on the Street 919 FM. Don't know. Season 22, <laughs> Defend We Culture. Drop your keys and bow your knees, for I am the best for your swing right from us. February 22nd to 28th. I am here to defend my culture. Season 22. I am here to introduce you to season 22. Defend with music. We have soca, we have pal, we have calypso, we even have the doubles man. At Sound Forge, culture lives on. To make sure my culture lives and not just survive. Season 22, February 22nd to 28th at Sound Forge. The spirit must live on! <laughs> We say you wake up in the morning and you just realize Can't even come back again Alright, maybe that is not 100% true But here it is TSB and C dub sided Alongside Iowa George presents Can't even come back Take back Take back Monday, the again. This is a 
Live with Georgia Big Boss of Business. Carnival Monday, the 28th, 3 p.m. Queen's Back Savannah. Carnival come back. 3 p.m. Carnival Monday, Queen's Back Savannah. People, your brand I'm gonna be there live and live these yards. We got it up. Shake it properly. People, you need vaccination on entry. Come out in your Monday wear. Come out with your team from 3 p.m. till. Get your female tickets started at $220. And male tickets at $250. With food inclusive. Get those tickets online at subtix.com. Also, book your cabanas. $2,000 for groups of nine with coolers and food inclusive. All this happening at the Queen's Park. Savannah, Carnival, Van Hop, If you're experiencing pain, constipation, headaches, poor blood circulation, high or low blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, swollen or darkened feet, come visit us at Health and Wealth Lifestyle, located at 73 Eastern Main Road, Barataria, opposite Eastern Credit Union. We at Health and Wealth Lifestyle offer a wide range of services. Come and experience our new 3D analyzer, which allows you to have a look inside your body. We also provide live blood analysis, iridology, ionic foot detox with foot soap and foot massage, aqua therapy, full body massage and organic supplements on sale such as nano silver, nano zinc, body light, cold pressed sesame oil and more. Health and Wealth Lifestyle located at number 73 Eastern Main Road, Barataria, opposite Eastern Credit Union. For more information call 275-8359 or 288-1108. Join Nicole Huggins for Health and Wealth Lifestyle every Monday from 9.05 a.m. to 9.55 a.m. right here on the street, 919 FM. Hey guys, it's Aisha Wells here. Listen up. If you're considering selling or renting your house in Trinidad and Tobago, then call Keelan George with O'Neill's Real Estate Group. He's a good friend of mine and he's been in the business for over six years. First, selling real estate in Atlanta, Georgia, and now right here in Trinidad and Tobago. He has a strategic online marketing presence that actually attracts thousands of home buyers and renters. Plus, with his home selling advice and techniques, he's getting homes sold really fast. Kilan will actually guarantee you sell your home or, get this, you can cancel the listing agreement and pay nothing at any time. That's right, you heard me, nothing at any time. Selling your home doesn't have to be stressful, people. Check out www.oneilrealestatet.com. O'Neill is spelled O-N-E-I-L or just call Kilon Direct at 363-4030. That's 363-4030. This is Wayne Delamore, Head Consultant and Director of Natural Health Solution. With over 15 years of experience in clinical nutrition and microscopy, we specialize in early detection and prevention. We incorporate evidence-based nutrition and science-driven analysis. Tune in to our educational program every Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Right here on the street, 91.9 FM. For appointments, call 222-2189 or 304-5816. At Natural Health Solutions, we offer a natural solution to healthy living. This is Bishop Aaron Williams from the Divine Problem Solving International Ministries inviting you to be part of our broadcast on any given Thursday night from 12 midnight right on to 5 a.m. on Friday morning. And this broadcast is called Early Morning Gospel Market Program. Then we have on Tuesday from 12 noon to 1 p.m. the Holy Ghost Gospel Pharmacy. If you are sick and ill and you can get from this particular pharmacy, from the pharmacist, the good things of life. Hallelujah. And any Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Break into the host of the Philistines. Hallelujah. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, hearing the Babel of false doctrines that you encounter daily, it's about time you get close to God. God's word direct from his throne room in the name of Jesus. God has good plans for his people. Why do you worry so much? Turn your lights down low. And listen to the Master's Radio. The Church of the Firstborn Assembly of Numbers 399 Eastern Main Road, Guayco Sangre Grande, is pleased to present Pastors Morris and Agnes Johnson and guest. Sundays, Tuesdays, and Friday night, Sunday Ministry of Worship, 
Children Hour and the Word from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesdays, see Jesus in every book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Tuesday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And Friday night, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. All night prayer for our nation. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everyone. For further information, visit with us at www.churchofthefirstbornassembly.org or on Facebook. Email us at church668hope at gmail.com or call us at 753-1113 or 236-7271. Your free gifts and offerings will be greatly appreciated at Church of the Firstborn Assembly, account number 795222 at the First Citizens Bank. Get in touch with God. Turn your radio Share the line. Share the line. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. Let's go and take that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See you right there, dear boy. Father will provide Jesus will supply Good Lord, more than enough More than enough uh -huh. My Jesus will supply I'll run my cup of them empty Jesus will provide Badang, in a depression somewhere in me See, remix, remix, watch it, watch it Corona in my country, Jesus will come. So when me don't have nothing, me no worry. Jesus will always provide for me. Cause Jesus will provide. Jesus will provide. I run my cup of them empty. Jesus will provide. But Jesus will provide. Jesus will provide. So when you can't control your salary. Watch it. Uh, he better than kiss and quail. He keep on putting bread on my table. A Lindos and Freddy, them ready. A Jesus Christ got the recipe. Uh, he's my cheap baker. So my bread basket always run over. So it overflow, overflow, overflow. And now I know, now I know, now I know. Jesus will provide. Jesus will provide. I run my cup of them empty. Jesus will provide. Baba, Jesus will provide. Jesus will provide. So when you can't control your salary. Watch it. And he's my provider. Mm, my Jehovah Jaira. And my supervisor. So my blessing, my blessing run over. And so it overflow, overflow, overflow. And now I know, no, I like this part, I watch it. It's like you're doing it for spite. No matter what Jesus will provide. Jesus will provide. Yes, he will provide. I will not over them empty. Jesus, this one is for the elders, for the elders. Jesus will provide. Yes, he will provide. So when the care find your bed, you soon in the pharmacy. Jesus will provide. Oh, oh. Jesus will provide. All right, trying to be good, so I'm back with you. Join me on Facebook and on YouTube as I'm about to show you a video that I believe need to be shown to be to bring a gentle reminder of some things. Um, when I show you this video, then I'm going to open up the phone lines, show you two videos. When I'm through showing you the videos, I'm going to open up the phone lines to hear your views, hear what you think, hear what you have to say. All right, so Trinidad and Tobago, join me. Um, we had a national day of prayer in Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know how many of you could remember. We had a national day of prayer. And there was a pastor who would have made some some 
would have prayed, made some declarations over Trinidad and Tobago. And I want to just play for you what the past had to say. Good. We give God praise for this opportunity to speak to our nation and to the nations of the earth and specifically one more time to our Prime Minister. This is what the Lord said to me. I'm giving the nation a homework to do. Read Jeremiah chapter 22 in as many versions as you can. But I have taken it from the message version to speak today. And it is this. The Lord said to me, go down to the house of the king of Judah. And by the principle of similitude, go down to the diplomatic center. And speak to the leader. And declare, this is God's message, attend to matters of justice, set things right between people, rescue victims from their exploiters, don't take advantage of the homeless, the orphans, the widows, stop the murderings. Then he said, I will give to you, Mr. Prime Minister, the Joseph mandate in reverse. Whereas Joseph became Prime Minister of Egypt in a time of plenty to prepare for a time of scarcity, you have come into leadership when the nation is in a time of scarcity. But he said this, I shall cause you to lead this nation into a season of unprecedented economic wealth. For you shall lead the nation in such a way that you will lend to others and not borrow. Many leaders shall come to you for counsel on how to bring their nation out of their crisis. For I hear the voices of major investors saying, come let's go down to Trinidad and Tobago and invest seeds into their economy for it is yielding high yields on investments. The Lord also says, there shall be a season of unprecedented collaboration between the government and the various opposition parties. Then he also says, I am after the heart of the nation and COVID became the rallying call. I will bring healing not just to the COVID but to the contentions within the nation. Then he said this, I wanted to have all the eyes and the minds and the hearts of the nation in one place reflecting exactly what happened on the day of Pentecost, of which this is a commemoration, in the upper room. They were all together in one place. And the Holy Spirit fell. I decree then, God will heal our land and bless our land. Thank you. Right. So that was said to Trinidad and Tobago um, on the day of um, 
the National Day of Prayer. We had a National Day of Prayer, and that was said on the National Day of Prayer by also Vivian, Vivian, Funan Duncan, sorry. So I have one more video I want to show, and after this video, then I'll go straight to the phone lines. I have another video I'd like to show what was happening here. Okay. While I'm waiting for that video to download, I will take some calls. All right, hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Pastor Google. Well, Pastor Google, I'm listening to that video there. It's very deep and retrospective. Just that I am a little skeptical about that so-called um, unprecedented um, that the opposition will work with the government. That one, I'm a little, I am very skeptical about that. Right? Um, but with respect of um, UNC people going on, go on um, thing a station, that they want to come to a station, I prefer, 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 prefer the people to come for. I'll tell you why. This country has over 20 radio stations. Most of them, the East Indian format station, they are not in favor of the government. And they say unscrupulous things about our prime minister and the government. So to have you bring somebody representing the UNC, the only party that is like our party, I, I don't know about that one. Right? I prefer the preference, bring the PNM people first. I can't right? bring them, eh? Wait, wait, the just now. Let me just clear this up. Yes. It's an open door yeah. policy for them to come. If they choose not to come, you can't I I can't bring them. They have to choose to come. Understand that. It's an open door policy. And when I said it yesterday, I said I have an open door policy for members of parliament who would like to come and share on what they have what they have done in their community, what they're willing to do and to talk to their community. Right? I have extended an invitation. Within extending the invitation, um, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South, Mr. Keith Scotland, grab up the invitation and he'll be here on Friday. All right? The two UNC would have heard, would, they said that um, members of their community told them about the offer and they are willing. You telling me, don't let them come. Let PNM people come. And I'm saying to you, the PNM people don't want to come. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Right, Pastor Google. No, I'm asking. Well, like I say again, it, 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 I think because of the fact that I think this station and protect other so-called station that's supposed to be in the PNM, we tend to be very open and nice to certain people. But on the other side now, with the UNC stations on them, is that different kettle of fish, Pastor Google? Yeah, but you're not listening to the question I ask you. You are talking about something totally different to what I'm saying to you and what I ask you. you talking about other stations. I'm not even talking about other stations. I am saying, and I'm saying it again, for you to hear it again. I have issued an open door. My boss was standing right by the open door when I said that I issue an open door invitation to members of parliament to come from 12.30 till 2 o'clock to share with Trinidad and Tobago how, how the politics have been going for them, what have they been able to accomplish in their community, how has it been for them, what are they doing, How what and what. That is what I'm saying. I'm not talking about other stations. And I just said to you that um, the Honorable... Mr. Keith Scotland for Port of Spain South took up the invitation. Yeah. All right, opposition. Well, if he is coming, I hope the other. That is what you should be saying. That is what I you should be saying. Well. That is right, what you right. should be saying. Right. That's what you should be saying. And that's why I said also I that if you have, if people have a close relationship, with their members of parliament, right? And they, like, let's right. see, you could you could WhatsApp them or you could talk to them and let them know, hey, Pastor Google have an open invitation um, every Friday from 12.30 till 2. Jump in now. 
before you go to parliament, you could run in there for about half an hour and talk to the people and run out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand where you're going from, Pastor Paul. Right? But I think this is an open invitation. I hope the, most of the, the PNM people should take this up, take this opportunity, because this year's local government election. And their PR is very poor, in my opinion. So if this is the forum, so be it. Pastor Google. All right, sir. But I understand where you're coming from. Okay. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Pastor. Um, I believe the rest of PNM MPs should do likewise, like um, like the invitation, um, like um, MP um, Scotland, who stand with him. They should do likewise and put the station and have a discussion with you and let the nation know what they can place. And you know, so the, the citizens will hear what the government doing and what they are doing for the constituency. Well, the UNC, they may come in on that program because they consider the, this program as a PNM program. So the UNC and peace, they may come in. Trust me, I'm pastor. Good day. All right, if you say so. Hello, good afternoon. Pastor Google. Yes, sir. A, a pleasant, a pleasant good afternoon to you. And a pleasant good afternoon to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, Mr. Wall Street. Pastor Google, I want to compliment you on that initiative that you have started. And, you know, I might have to put you in the transformational category too, you know. I feel so, you know. Eh? But I'll I, I see a little more, you know. I'll see a little more, Pastor Google. Pastor Google, your program is called Constructive Talk with Pastor Google, right? Yeah, yes, correct? yes, sir. So if it's constructive talk and you have an open... And let me say this, Pastor Google, right? You have not come out and bashed the prime minister because people just say, I just bashed the prime minister because I just call him the blackest man in Trinidad and Tobago. You haven't come out and said anything negative about anybody, right? You haven't said anything. All you have said is I'm having an open forum for MPs to come and discuss what they're doing in the constituency. What is so wrong about that? And Pastor Google, I just hear fella calling and say, boy, this is considered to be, well, no, let me paraphrase that because I'm a paraphrase. This is considered to be, well, I guess what he was trying to say is that this is considered to be a PNM sort of radio station or a PNM program, and you should only bring PNM MPs on that program. You know, Pastor Google, let me tell you this sad thing, eh? I have never supported another party in my all my years on this all my years on earth. I have never supported another party. The only party I've supported is the PNM. Right? The only party I've supported is the PNM. And Pastor Google, I have invited members of the UNC and members of the PNM to come on WZY 95.9 FM here in New Jersey. And the only people to have taken it up was the, the mayor of San Fernando, Mr. Robrello, and the mayor of Port of Spain, Mr. Martinez. Everybody else that have invited, right, is salt from them. Salt, right, from the leader, go down the line. We have invited members of parliament from the UNC, and them fellas just come. Listen, even Rudan Munila come on the program. And all them fellas didn't know my long-time support for the PNM, right? So that tells me that, that what is the purpose of me supporting a party and I can't get one MP to come on my program that I have in the village? One MP. Or maybe not one, but half an MP to come on my program. What is the purpose of me supporting that party? Why am I supporting that party? And I, I, I'm not going to talk about the building in Chumaka and thing. I'm just talking about the radio station that we have here in New Jersey that I am an owner of. And I invite, and I can't get one MP. One? Why is that? So, Pastor Google, you came out and you did something. And I want to compliment you on that. I really want to compliment you. And, uh, you, you know, I know only no brief for you, eh, Pastor Google. You know, they're going to say, no, once you complimented me, that means something I'm doing wrong. Well, correct is right. <laughs> and they will say, oh, why, why Wall Street? I'll come. And you know, you know what it is. But, 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 but constructive is constructive, Pastor Google. When it's constructive, people need to take their head out of the sand and say, boy, listen, we want 
to hear what the other people are saying. We want to know what they are doing in their constituency, and we want the PNM MPs. I believe every 21 of them, every one of them, including the Prime Minister, should make a time to come on the radio station. Every one of them should come on the program. Every single one of them. And right. if they don't come past the Google, uh. I don't know what the message is sending. But if they don't come, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. But Pastor Google, you have a tremendous, splendiferous, fantabulous, marvelous rest of the day. And I want to compliment you again on taking an initiative that is sorely needed in Trinidad and Tobago to hear what other people are doing, Pastor Google. And I appreciate that very kindly. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Pastor Google. Yeah. Uh, let me and you know, I call you to wish you happy birthday. You're taking my calls. There's only taking calls from ladies, but that's all right. Oh, my gosh. And Pastor Google, it's it trying to say today that I take, I, I want some fast right now. And some fast right now, Pastor Google. And I take some time now to call the program. And Pastor Google, the Prime Minister is out of the country, right? And you know something? The Prime Minister is seen or working as head of state. Right now, I'll speak to you. And not a picture on the official Prime Minister page. Not a video. I went and see some picture and the picture mark up another Chinese or Muslim words. I said, but why our media personality why the photo not traveling with the Prime Minister? What is there to hide from the Prime Minister? Because if the Prime Minister is going to say, and I one thing I can say about the former Prime Minister, Kamala Prasad, because the camera was in, in her face. Don't care when she went to South Africa and invite Dr. Rowley. You see both of them on the plane was sitting on something. You see them in the funeral, and every country, every state that Kamala going to India, there's videos with Kamala in India going back to her hometown. And what is the what is the PRO? How how the Prime Minister could be out of the countries seeing heads at state, and in that scene, a picture, a video when the Prime Minister comes out at the vehicle when he going to the Summit. Pastor Google, the PNM gone, you know. I do not know where they're hiding. I do not know where they're hiding. But aren't you Gabriel? Hey, hey, don't call the wall in here, please. Let me well, show let me show you a pitier. You want pitiers? All right, I'm going to show you a pitier. Go on the line. No, go on the line. Watch the name of the pitier. I is that pitier. That is not a pitier. That is some screenshot. They take they take offer at um a TV or a live. But but no, they, that is not true, Kingsley. I watch it on the Prime Minister's official page here now, mm. where the Prime Minister, Dr. the Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, with Trinidadians who living in Qatar. Mm. So you, you have you have and you have you have all all the names of different persons and you have a pity of them. In a room, Pastor, in a ballroom, in a room talking. Pastor Google, what, what, Pastor Google, what, what, in two minutes ago was the Minister of Health com press conference on, on the official Prime Minister page. What page you, you, you want, Pastor Google? I, on Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. No, 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 you on his personal page. I'm speaking about the, the official of the, the Prime Minister page. That is a page, I don't know no, what his personal page. I'm speaking about the, the, the official page. Of Trinidad Tobago, we have over 100,000 followers. Over 100,000 followers. I speaking about that page. Doctor Rodi blocked me. Doctor Rodi blocked <laughs> me on that on that page. You blocked him on the page. Doctor Rodi blocked him. Doctor Rodi blocked him on the official page. Yes, it's personal page. I cannot get it. So, but I could go on the I could, I could go on the official. Of the Prime Minister of China Tobago, who we have over 100,000 followers, that uh, is I own. And the last two hours, the last two hours post was the Minister of Health press conference. And 
and and and a video with the prime minister speaking in the summit right now, right? So if you take the personal page to post, I have a problem with that. But Google, or if you see, you tell me have you seen thing, and, and and this is is an official page where the public will go on first before they go on the personal page this page because you can't lock me up. This is that page is my page. You can't lock me down. You can't block me down. That page is my page. But you block it. But you block it. His page. You block it. <laughs> the prime minister block you. That means the prime minister know you, boy. Look at okay. Look at look at you again. Me fake. I be fake. I come right now, and I'm going into and I'm going into the prime minister. So keep rolling. Keep rolling. So with that, you have a fake profile. Let's go. I had to tell him you. Yes. I had to tell him yes, that. I had to tell him that you're on a fake profile. <laughs> yes. I had to tell him so that he will not to deal with you. Let me take a next call. 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 Let me take on his private page, I I I am looking for the past three four days. I am looking to see because I went on um or oh, some leaders who were over there and I see that who the meeting I see everything, but I'm looking on the prime on our prime minister page. Uh, there's nothing, so I am concerned about that. All right, the so pastor, I'm the pastor at Google. I hear your fight. You hear my hear fight? Your, uh, my fight. Hear your fight. Me yeah, I don't fight. Your fight. Me I don't because fight. Huh? I don't have any fight, Kingsley. Don't say that. Because you're the question, you're the question. Do the hierarchies in the PNMK? Any question that? Today, Pastor Google, in your party, 20 ministers in answering the phone. 20 ministers. Pastor Google, I sent a video three months, three months with cheat lights in Portsmouth South. I sent it personally to Chief Scott phone, personally to his WhatsApp. Three months now. Three months now. Four, four lights, street lights. Four street lights. Only if we block up the road, they receive Chief Scott running up the road to fix it. So, wait, just the now, just now. Uh, about it. Right, right. So, wait, just now, just now. The councillor know about it? The councillor know about right. it. Right, and what, what the, has the councillor the, done? The, 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 MP know about it. Wait, what the councillor did when he when you all told him about it? That woman, a female. Yeah, what did she do? Nothing. Why she did so, nothing? Ah? Huh? Why? I was advised strongly with one of the residents. And, 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 and I do not know. Right? So, I do not know. And let me say, let me ask a question. Because I do not like the libel and scandal and like allegation. I am asking the councillor if she tell the resident better you put this because she and check ain't coming up here. That's what she tell a resident. I call Wendell Stephen because Wendell Stephen is the chairman of the post incorporation, right? Because I'm getting vexed now. I'm getting vexed now because I send that video to shoot to the MP. The, I see the council, uh, the the councillor on Simple Street. I stop and I ask the councillor that that waste of time councillor who should never be the councillor of St. Anne's East River. Yeah, but Kingsley, you can't take up. Wait, wait, wait. You can't take up my whole show like we just do on a, on on other shows. I remember I just have an hour, you know. So when you you have been on from all, from quarter past one already, it's twenty five to. I want to call in. And expose that MP for Portland South because if he, he coming, he that coming that on Friday. He is coming on. Wait, just now, just now. But he's coming on Friday, so I will address it with him on Friday. But, I'm sure. Other, I'm that. sure it have. I'm sure. Just like how you want to expose him. I'm sure. When I'm sure if Michelle Benjamin sit down here, he that people from Maruga will call in and share other um, things that happening in Maruga no. that she not addressing. Pastor Google. And that one, you are fighting a fight alone. Because you are you saying it now? Because Michelle leading in front, burning tires, of consequences that she so they will support her. They will support no, her. No, I'm saying to you that there are here. people, wait, that's now, that's now. There are people from Michelle Benjamin's constituency 
I'm, I'm not asking you. I am telling you that there are people from Michelle Benjamin's constituency who have an issue with Michelle not addressing certain issues. I am saying no, Pastor Google. You say no? no? Well, nah. Then I you then you don't no, then you don't listen. Then you don't listen. Then you don't listen to this radio station. Let me take a next call. And it's already no, 20, 35 minutes past. They are party cards. They will have party hats. Thank you very much. But they have UNC people who do a whole video on Michelle. They do a whole video, said how she said she was coming to give out hamper, and she never show up. How did that video? Oh, you send me that video. Well, then I check back your video? phone. You send me that video. I send that video. Yes. Yes. that video. You send me that video. A man stand up with a list and say how she was supposed to come for Mother's Day, and she never come. You I send me that video. You forget how it. I can't recall. All right, then. I can't recall. <laughs> okay, let me but leave it there. I can't recall. Thank you very much. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Pastor Google. Yes, sir. Change me, my brother. They keep in back your brother here. Yeah. Uh -uh. Let's talk. Oh, God. Yes. You know, we, you know we have work to do. We, I Make didn't know that. And you always start to remember your brother will be there. It's a button here, but always remember Google show is short. Very short, and right now, I, I, right now, I've called us holding. You can't carry, and you know, yeah. Call, call me, call me, Pastor Google. Uh -huh. I have to support you one hundred percent. The PNM must learn that other radio stations with the support and the grip adds to don't care one foot about that. And you have the opportunity to come here on this radio station, and you're not coming. And I have to compliment the MP for Father Spain South to be one that put up his hand and say he will be here at Kingsley. He can't hit him. He agree that he's coming. Now, what I want to point out to you, Pastor Google, the PNM. It's very weak. Very weak in advertising. For the good and welfare of Trinidad and Tobago. So much that when Neil Eversley this morning has drafted a letter to go to the police, the acting police commissioner, for the permission to run a protest outside the opposition leader's office. Unless we apologize for accusing the Coast Guard at Trinidad and Tobago for being murdered. And I am supporting him 100%, Pastor Google. And I hope my brother, King Z, is looking to join us. Because we very seriously that we want Sharon Felix and Marcel and everybody to make it known. It is official. We are going to protest the opposition leader's office demanding that she apologize to the court guard of Trinidad and Tobago that her focus must stop and she must not be made to get away with that past of Google. Can we? We are to join that shit. Right. We are to join that. So I'm making it official. The right. letter is coming from Wendell Eversley. I and others are supporting him 100%. Thank you very much for allowing me this contribution. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Porter Spin. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Wall. Jesus. <laughs> I've been waiting since before Wall Street. Um, Pastor Google, I'm not going to stray because. I really am truly not interested at that politics. I've grown and evolved beyond that. The, the video I played with the, with the pastor that spoke in the day of prayer. Yes. I want to go back to that because I think we kind of lost, the callers kind of carried down a different road with all this tit for that UNCP and I'm talk. And I think the missus, that, that, that speech, that, that, Filming what that pastor gave there because I was listening to that. And um, it kind of moved me spiritually. You know why? Because nowhere in that speech, in that sermon, 
he mentioned anything about the vision. All he spoke about is the leaders coming together and prosperity will happen for children and Tobago. Right? And he decreed. It means to say that we, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, have to put aside this PNM UNC in order for our country to move forward. Right? It means to say, we, a country that is divided, a house that is divided, can never stand. It can never move forward. It can never fix. All the problems we have in Trinidad and Tobago can never fix so long as we have this back and forth division. And some, this is some of the reasons why I never used to call the show because I believe for a man of God, right, you're not supposed to involve yourself in this division politics, right? It's divided by race and party brand and who loves the party and who is this and who that and come and them and UNCT and PNN this and PNN that. I'm more concerned about the citizens, the future of children and Tobago. Because here it is. We argue every day on a radio station based on who's red and who's yellow and who's Indian and who's African, who should get and who shouldn't get and who thief and who didn't thief and all that drama. Where is we going through that? We going through that. I said, I on the radio, I going through that. And I realized doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result with nothing short of madness. I'm saying to that. Right? So why it is, it, it, when I listened to that so Monday, I was like, this man really gets the information, God talk to him. In that day, I pray. Right? And if it is we're supposed to get a second or a, or a third or a fourth or a boom or some kind of investment or something, people coming here to invest in our country, right? It means to say, we as a people have to forget this division that we preach and we, we regurgitate and we poison our minds and our children's minds with in order to move forward as a country. Right? I am not going to talk about Kit Katman coming Friday. I'm not going to talk about local government election. I'm not going to talk about you can land, which is say with, 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 with the code. God, I'm not going to talk about none of them things. Because to me, all that is relevant and should and today goes more important than all of them is used. Right? And I hope to God, right, that you allow both PNM and UNC MPs, candidates, senators, councillors, whoever want to come in your open door forum. And speak on behalf of the constituency, what they do, what the constituency, and let the people call in and see what the constitu constituency need, what they want, and allow the MP and them to answer honestly and fairly. Right? Yeah, this man. is not about tit for tattoos, you and PNM. And I don't know why people just call 919 I a PNM station, because very rarely we will get some PNM as they. You understand? I am PNM as on all of that. You can be on radio, right? You hold it. Switch in, switch in, switch in. Right? And I hear ads all over the place, but we does not get on. I say, why don't I play that by way? And we play them out. So they just say. You understand? Or I don't condone that either. I believe Trinidad and Tobago should be first and foremost in every single government, every single party. Every single thing we do is supposed to put Trinidad first, red, white, and black, line high. Not no, no bodies there, no right and son, and no whoever PDP. I don't care. It's a high time we give up this crap. We're chasing a rabbit with like a carrot and a stick. We're chasing it and they just had the car riding me back and we're running along the stick. We're not getting nowhere. The place getting bad. The people, the things that going forward, things that's happening in the country. You understand? I worked yet COVID come for them two years there and cramped the economy to real jet. So this is, this to me, I don't know why we're still focusing on UNC and PNM. Well, we can be focusing on how to get back out of this crisis we in here and get back to our loving foundation that we have. Thank you, my brother, and I thank you for allowing me. Enjoy it. Hey, uh, good afternoon, Pastor Google and Trinidad and Tobago. I heard um, Wall Street say that he has invited so many of the NPs to come and none has ever come. Probably what he's offering, they either see it of little value or very low return on the investment in time, or he has not properly articulated the benefits to Trinidad and Tobago and NP going on a radio station in New Jersey could have. So probably he needs to do some work in that area. Because I myself am not sure what would be the real value that would accrue to the members of their respective um, constituencies 
by appearing on a radio show that he has or on a radio station that he owns. So maybe he could clarify that for us. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, Pastor Google. Yes, sir. Pastor, um, let me say this. Michelle Benjamin ain't gonna no tie and blocking no road if she government in office. She'll do that because she government not in office. So that doesn't mean that when she bond then she, she care about her constituency. She is just advertising for herself and her party. Basically, and basically right now with, with what I understand with the UNC is to make this government ungovernable so it'll do anything like that. Drag coffee from all and things. Two, Miss Kamala Pasad the sister travel all over the world, have cameras, pictures, but when she come back to Trinidad, what what have we benefited from that? What is, what investors came to Trinidad and invest? She have met with investors in a nineteen and hotel room and all kinds of nonsense. All these things I know have worth in it. But what has she what she have she achieved? So that's a doctor you know, because he's saying thing. I see that I have been following up. Not pictures it have all over on, on Facebook. They were Dr. Oli in, in, in the meetings and they keeping you updated on what he's doing. The same thing, the same thing you talk about when you meet with the people in quota and the names of the, the citizens and uh, who they deported to. But what I'm saying is that Dr. Rowley has, from day one, went and met with the BP boss on them because um, Shell had bought out BP. So it is, he went England first. Some, some challenging case that what Ms. Kamala Pasabi says has done, you all get go ahead, drill, and you don't have to pay any money or no royalties to the, com- to the country, so no taxes we get in. That was agreed. That was a signed agreement. It was above the pay grade of the, 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 the chairman of BP in Trinidad and Tobago. It was even above the pay grade of the, 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 his bosses and them in England. So Dr. Early and his team had to go to the United States to meet with the big head honcho and argue his case. What Dr. Early achieved from that? He got them to pay taxes retroactive to, plus they invested millions into Trinidad and Tobago and we reaping the rewards now because now we're finding oil here. Dr. Rowley and his team had to go to the International Court of Arbitration to get back close to a billion dollars for Trinidad and Tobago. That what a minister under the Kamala Pasabi Sessor government has went and removed that clause to allow him legally to leave with it. Dr. Right. Rowley, and, and there's another thing Dr. Rowley have been doing, boy, and the people and them, just, the people just don't want to hear that. They I don't, think, I don't think I don't think it's that they don't want to hear it. I don't, don't say that. I don't think it's that they don't want to hear it. Don't, don't say that. It, it's, you have to, wait, that's now. That's now. What you have to do, and I'll just draw an example of scripture in the Bible. You read right throughout Exodus, God always reminds the people, I am the Lord thy God that brought you out of the land of bondage egypt oh. he always reminded them and and sometimes and we always see it as 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 a people if we forget our past we are doomed to what repeat it right. so if you don't remind the people of what you are doing you don't remind the people of where they came from and where they are going they are going to forget and you have to remind them every time god spoke to the children of israel he remi- it was I, I was telling my i was saying to my son one time it's like somebody reproaching you every minute hey i'm the one who brought you out hey i am the one who brought you out you know why because god knows that human beings have a way they forget all right, well, I'll, I'll agree with you. So I'll, I'll scratch that. But uh, that is what I wanted to tie back into the message from the Yeah, but, but I want to take, I've, I just have a few more minutes again. I have a lot one, of callers calling in. One more. So, a, as I could say that, that same speech like every three months or so like that, or just remind us of the same thing you're talking about. All That's right, sir. I'll do that. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, what I say, not heavy, right? Because I have, family in the Coast Guard, right? And um, we have wives. So why he didn't want uh, Kamala to apologize? It's hurting me up to this day. What she said about her is hurting me. Hmm. I hear you call her. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, right, good afternoon. You see why I told you yesterday on that program, your program? You see why I was she somewhere? to try to link yesterday 
and the conversation to say that they would bad talk here today. That is not what we were doing yesterday. What we're pointing out here is the little force that we see. Now I say constructive talk. The little force that we see in so one thing we up to now still can't admit that the mother of the nation is the mother of corruption. When things we still can't admit that and these people call it a support here to carry them up a particular line to, 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 to escalate what transpired yesterday that granny had to call to say to them that we'll rough off in the school bar. This is not what we do in here, you know. This is not this is not what's taking place here. This is what and you know he said it. The minister will come in on Friday. He sent him and the minister came to the two speak out yet. But he asked him, did he talk to the council? No. But he has information. What information he has? He can't tell you. If the council is called CNT, and CNT can come in the community because of their conduct. And they are get police to come to fix two speak right because of our conduct in the community. We had to fix, we had to fix the last swimming pool. And we had to leave two soldiers to watch the swimming pool. So we all said, hey, and that is what we're talking about. That has nothing to do with the PNL at all. We have our own self, but we back up on our own self as black people. Hmm. I put this conversation going on and oh, this is not about the PNM per se. You just really need to hear more from the PNM, you know. But if we go down the road them going down there, we stay down by the river on our stone and talk it back. That's how we're going to join. Now that's not the same, but I'm doing something. We go to All right. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. I'm listening to a gentleman speaking here. But until those people of that 18 constituencies start to think otherwise, then we probably might get somewhere. Good day, Mr. Google. I now come home here. I know Rachel. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Hi. Pastor Google, uh -huh. let me tell you something. Hello. I am not saying that the members of parliament, whether you and CPLM, not supposed to do things in the area. But I also think that it is said it's not what a country could do, say, what you could also do for a country. And why I'm saying that? I remember in my, in where I live in Mutulan, there were some street lights not working. I knew a supervisor that working by by Tech and I talked to him, and I get him to change all the lights and fix them, fix them. Also, the street light sign on my street, for about 20 years, that street side was down. I, I take my own money, and I get a guy to get the, the same kind of material that he makes the street sign with, and I tell him, put it back up. I also put back the name of the street and everything. I'm not sure enough. I'm just saying what I did. It's not all time what... what it, it, also, you have to help also. You understand? Well, I suffer the foot and thing now, so I can't do what I used to do. I used to... The whole street. All right. I used to scrub down that whole street. You understand? Because right. I live in there, and I need to see it taken. Okay, Pastor Google. All right, Ms. John. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, Pastor Google. Hey! Yes. Talk quick. I want to hear you so talk quick. Yes. I know diving in like small yes. Let me come in so I can talk good. I want to drive and talk. Pastor Google, I listened to y'all yesterday, you and I, sure. Let me switch off this engine. And I agree with some of the things you said. But I mean because I too I did cross under my breath when I drive in on Wendy Fitzwilliam Boulevard. The road in a mess. And I am asking the question, why is the is it the roads are not being repaired? Is it an orchestrated thing? I mean, come on. Right? But I am going to say this, and I don't care Wall Street, you could call me how much, go along, get along. I don't mind. i taking it. I will still do PNM. You know, they have something called Spy vote? I voted back the PNM for spite for you and leave it there and all, all you who want to see the UNC because let me tell you, I don't <laughs> want to see Kamala Pasad the back in we parliament as prime minister 
and to control we treasury. All right. But I'm the PNM, to there. Right. The PNM need to step up the game. All Have right. a blessed day, Pastor. Google reach home safe. Love you. I miss Love you. you <laughs> I miss <All> you. Right. <laughs> I'm out of here, chill, and to be good. Talk to you guys tomorrow, please, God. Tomorrow is what? Tomorrow is Thursday. Right. Talk to you guys tomorrow, please, God. Be safe. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of this street. 919 FM. Simpsons Memorial Limited, number 63 Eastern Main Road, Laventille. Internationally accredited funeral directors and embalmers. A full-service funeral home serving families of Trinidad and Tobago. 